Hey guys, good morning. I am making my coffee. I like these coffee chats in the morning. So it's September 5th, it's the Tuesday after Labor Day. And get myself together. Um, I gotta be honest with you guys, I'm, I'm exhausted, I'm feeling it. Uh, yesterday with the, you know, I planted, let's see, I planted two trees. <laughs> the one was like in a five gallon container. The other one was like in maybe a two, three gallon container. And then I planted rose bushes, three rose bushes. And the thing with rose bushes is that you kind of, especially because in that area, like how the soil was, it was very, it was actually surprisingly sandy. Um, I actually added compost and peat malt and hydro peat which had like coconut core and stuff in it to actually help with moisture retention. I mean, when I was putting the hose on it, it was draining. I mean, roses need good drainage, but that, I mean, that was like quickly draining. It had like no moisture retention almost whatsoever. Uh, so then last night, um, once it got cooler, I planted some of the, I planted some of the um, boxwood. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I did water everything yesterday really well, and um, I, while I'm digging the holes, basically I'm going to mix up a gallon of the mycorrhizae uh, packet I have from uh, Organics, is it Organics Mechanics? Let me get the packet. Plant Success Organic Soluble. So it's mycorrhizae, and it does have a trace amounts of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium in it. So this is what it looks like. And you basically, you mix up one teaspoon in a gallon of water. And then you, once you do that, like for something that's like a four inch container, you use like eight ounces of solution, which is which is one cup, if I believe. Um, so this is what I'm gonna be using um, because they need a little bit of a boost. Um, they're in, you know, they're very, they're very stressed, very stressed. And so when there's this stress, and the thing is, I know that they, first off, they were stored, they were outside, so they're in full sun. Um, the roots, I mean, the roots are actually quite substantial. So I'm hoping once they get in the ground, obviously the ground's got a lot bigger re reservoir for nutrients. So I'm hoping it'll start picking that up. Plus I've given it that. Um, when they're that stressed, I like to get them settled in before I start giving them fertilizer. So um, at the end of this week, I'm going to give them liquid iron. And that, you know, I have to do a segment on that because I've never really talked about um, liquid iron and, you know, and that sort of thing. And, you know, just when your plants have chlorosis, because these do have chlorosis. Um, but liquid iron doesn't just have iron in it. It has, um, it has actually a lot of things in it. It's got like iron, magnesium, nitrogen, basically any and other trace elements. Basically any um, nutrient deficiency that could cause chlorosis, that's what it's got in there. So, but the thing is, when you actually look at the nutrient values on it, they're pretty low, because um, even though it's liquid, I'm still afraid that, you know, that I might burn the plant just because it's not in great shape. So I'm gonna just keep giving it, um, just make sure I have some water. I used to have something called Rootmaster and I don't even know if anybody makes it anymore because that's what I used to, I used to mix a teaspoon of that in a gallon of water and give everything and it did absolute wonders. Uh, but I just want to make sure the roots get a little settled in. Probably maybe Saturday, uh, maybe Saturday I'll mix up some of that um, the liquid iron and that has a little bit, it has definitely more nitrogen in it than the mycorrhizae powder I just showed you. And then I'll wait maybe a week or two, maybe two weeks and then give it some of the um, the fish and guano. And that's a little bit higher and hopefully <coughs> that'll get it, you know, on the right path. Um, so hold on for a second, let me do my milk foam here. Uh, so I'm trying to think how many I planted. So basically while I'm digging the holes, I'll, once I mix up that stuff, I'll put I have a tray out there. I put water in the tray and I just let the, the, you know, those plants sit in, in that water. I let the, you know, the roots just sit in all that water. Y'all, this is why I need coffee. It's making that noise because I didn't attach the milk container. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, take two. 
Uh, so once, while the roots are sitting in there, soaking up all the goodness, you know, um, I'll dig the holes. And then once I actually get them in the holes, I went back with the, with the container and I just sprinkled all of them with, um, with additional stuff. So I'll be watching it to see how it looks over the next couple of, you know, of weeks and, you know, days and, you know, they, I'm hoping, you know, they should pull, they should pull through. So, um, if they, if they pull through, if the bulk of them pull through, then number one, yeah, me. <laughs> Uh, the number two, that's like, that's a great, you know, and that's awesome because, you know, I would never be able to afford to go out and buy like a hundred plus, um, boxwood plants, you know, I was just planning to get plugs, you know, buy plugs over time. Uh, but this is nice because everything is going to get planted at the same time and go, go in at the same time. Um, speaking of plugs, let me get my other ones and water them. Okay guys, so these are the plugs I got from Sandy's Nursery, and I think they're located in the floor, and as you can see, these are, they're small, but let me look at the root system on that. <laughs> uh, so I, because these are a different type than what I got from Triple Oaks, what I'm going to do is the, around the circle lawn, I'm going to plant these, so I have enough for that, and then I'm going to use the other type in the rest of the garden so hopefully I think they should mesh well but that way at least that part is same so yeah so I'm gonna let those soak a little bit more like I said they were you know those were I got those for full price but you know what? they were actually really good I want to say like for each plug because you can order them in like two four six eight I think 16 and 20 um I think if you get them like 20 I think it was like 56 dollars so it ended up being you know, less than three dollars a plug, and they look really, really good. So that's another alternative. It's called Sandy's, uh, Sandy's uh, online nursery. I'll put a link. Uh, so yeah, so I'm going to. So what I'm doing is because I'm putting the the plugs in a foot away from the brick edge to make sure I got a line. Um, I'm measuring a foot, putting a stake. I'm measuring from the other side, putting a stake, and I'm putting a um, string between them, and that that way, you know, and I have a cardboard roll that was 26 inches is what the contractor paper was on, so I cut it down the two inches, so it's 24, and so basically I'm just doing it, using that as my measure and going through with my drill, so it's making it go pretty fast, so I'm going to have to, you know, patch up the contractor paper that I'm drilling through, because obviously that's a little bit damaged but um all in all it's you know it's going smoothly and uh yeah I just have a lot to get planted you know so oh, y'all I'm not a morning person so I mean I have other things to plant in that section but in terms of how they're doing they're actually doing a lot better the boxwood, so I'm gonna pull off on that until I get all of my boxwood plants. So anyway, um, now I just have to clean my machine a little bit. Actually, I need to. Looks like I actually have to do a full cleaning cycle. I'll do a full cleaning cycle when I come back in because that takes like 15 minutes and I don't have time to do that right now. Okay guys, so I got the holes in. Uh, that went in pretty easy peasy. I mean, I actually went through the cardboard too, but then again, the cardboard has, you know, got some moisture under it, um, so it was a little bit softer. Uh, but I'll just, oh, I should have swept that uh, chips back, but I think I can get the dirt down under there better. And so now I'm ready to plant. So I got one, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine over here 
and I tried to line them up as much as possible with this side. I mean, it's off by maybe an inch or so, but I think, you know, in the long run, you're probably not going to notice it. So anyway, uh, let me take the noisy pooch out for a walk and then I'll come back and plant. Hey, come on, no noisy pooch. Let's go for a walk. Let's go for a walk. Let's go for a walk.